welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to share with you my unboxing of my October issue of my Ipsy. Now this bad boy holds five full size products. This is my first month with the Glam Bag Plus. I normally just get the Glam Bag that has five smaller products in it. So a lot of them are travel or trial sizes to see if you would like them. So this one comes with five full size products and I can't wait to use them. Keep watching to see how I got this gorgeous fall look with my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Booyah! So I just want to premise that I do, whoops, I do have my everyday makeup box here because I don't know what I'm going to get in this box. I'm just as in the dark as you guys are. I made it that way so that I would be surprised and you guys would be surprised. Everybody would be surprised. Let's get to it. Let's do the unboxing. So this is my Ipsy box. Brown, brown chicken, brown cow. To you, from you. I love that because it's kind of a gift that you give yourself every month that comes in the mail. You don't even have to lift a finger. You just pick everything out for you, which I think is great. Because let's face it, we don't always have time to go to Sephora or Ulta and stand in the lines and wait for somebody to help you. So this is kind of a cool way to have a personal shopper for you for your makeup and it gets delivered right to your door. All right, so first I have this cute little postcard for October of 19. That's why there are Halloween decorations in the back. So the card says, flaunt it. Let's start obsessing over what we love about ourselves. And then it goes on to say, it's time to show off what makes you feel beautiful. Those lips, that skin. And who better than iconic beauty muse and confidence queen Betty Boop inspire you to flaunt it unapologetically. Let's say that word together, guys unapologetically. Do you know what that means? That means you go out, you flaunt what you have, and you don't give zero beep. Your five Glam Bag Plus products worth $120 plus for only 25 bucks are in place. Give a round of applause for your all-star cast. Here's everything you need to know. All right, so this is the box, guys. Discover yourself. Yes. Okay. Comes in this little floppy package. Pew, pew. Okay. This is everything inside of it. We're going to go through each product one by one. All right. Now, again, I have no idea what's in this box, so I'm going to go through and kind of do my makeup with these products and see how they work. The first one is No Pore Blum. <laughs> That's cute. No Pore Blum priming water. This sounds like something that would work really well for me because my skin is very dry. Just to let you guys know, I have nothing on my face right now. I used a face wipe, took my makeup off from work. So this is me sans makeup. I know what you're thinking. I probably look really tired, but I'm not. I just have dark circles because my eyes are very deep set. So that is something that I struggle with personally. So uh, hopefully this will work really well. It says it's Rosa Damascena flower, water, and oil. So that sounds like something that would work really well. Touch in sole. So this is a multi oil. So this I'm guessing I would use as a base or a primer, which I'm okay with, or a moisturizer. Bada bing, bada boom. Number one, dos. We have the Jolie Cosmetics Spectra Stick. Spectra Stick in Stella. That's funny because my mom's boyfriend was from New England and he couldn't pronounce my name. He would call me Sheeler. He started calling me Stella. All right, so Spectra Stick for Stella in Stella. Let's see, can you guys see that? I'm gonna take this one out actually. Let's take a look and see. The packaging is really cute. Sorry about my bright lights. Okay, this is really pretty. This is a highlighter stick. So let's see how it looks here. Ooh, that's pretty. So you guys can see that. That's gonna pop on those cheekbones. I would probably use this actually too on my eyes if I just need something quick, get out of the house, make my eyes, to help my eyes pop open a little bit. I would use that with a little bit of a tight line on the eyeliner and I think it would look bomb, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So keeping with that Betty Boop inspired glam box, 
This is the eyeshadow palette in That's So Betty. This is super cute. So back in the 90s, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was this uh, phrase that um, guys would say if a girl was hot, they'd say she's a total Betty. And I think that that's where that came from because, you know, who doesn't love Betty Boop? And she's a good icon to inspire us. Absolutely. I can't get this package open. Okay, so first of all, I've got to tell you, manufacturers, if you guys are going to give us products, make sure we can open them, please, as a consumer. Here we go. All right. It's packaged in a nice little black thingy here. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Look at the BB. Betty Boop with the hearts. Bam. You guys can see my ring light. Sorry about that. Betty Boop. All right. Let's open this bad boy. Ready? Like they do on the Instagram videos. Ready? Oh, God. <laughs> ah, look at those colors. Those are gorgeous. All right. Let's check these out. There is a mirror as well in the compact. There are eight beautiful colors. It looks like there are one, two, three. Well, there's technically only really one mat, which I'm not too crazy about because when you have hooded eyes like I do, the mats tend to blend better on your eyes. But let's just see, maybe I can swatch all these. I don't know how people do this. Do you know how to swatch things? Can someone teach me how to swatch things? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with this one first. It's kind of like a nudish blush. I'm gonna put that one on. Guys, so don't, don't kill me, <laughs> but I'm not very good at this yet. I'll get better, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a lot of unboxings with you guys, hopefully in the future. So let's check these out. So I think the prettiest one so far for me is this one popping out right here. And this is this kind of orangey shimmery tone, which is super pretty. So I'm actually gonna use that since I'm gonna be doing a fall inspired look with this makeup that I got. So, um, yeah, I think they're really light. Obviously I don't have a base under them, so they'll probably pop a little bit more. So we're definitely excited about that one. All right, so moving on, ooh. So I don't actually have a bronzer palette. I just have like a trio from the It Cosmetics that has my um, my bronzer, my blush, and a highlighter. So I'm, I'm actually really excited because I've been wanting to buy one of these, but I just don't know what to buy for myself. I'm not huge into bronzer, to be honest with you. I kind of like the liquid bronzers that are out right now, so I might try those. But this is really gorgeous. I'm gonna show you guys the package. It's called Lovecraft Beauty, okay. That open. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna try to get the mirror out of the way. So there is these colors are a little bit different. Sim, Cymbeline, Cymbeline, Suniva, and Aditya. And I'm so sorry if I said those wrong. Lovecraftbeauty.com. But this is really beautiful. This is really nice. So I'm excited to use this one. Brushes are always needed. I think I have like 100 brushes. Um, but anyway, okay, so brushes are always, always good. And last but not least comes with this super cute little Betty Boop clutch that I love. And it looks like it's big enough to fit my iPhone. Yeah, it's big enough to fit my iPhone. <laughs> I film on my iPhone, just so everybody knows. If you're starting a YouTube channel, just start filming it on your iPhone. You don't need a fancy camera, okay? So. This is super cute. I will absolutely keep this as a clutch. I'm gonna do just a quick rundown of a fall look today. And I would like to use some of these new things. Try them out and see what happens. All right, let's do this. When you start to get over 35, I'm not gonna tell you how old I am over 35, but you always have to make sure to get your neck and your decolletage. So important. You have to make sure you take care of every part of your skin. Okay, now you can see I do have some sun damage here. 
in my last video too, I kind of pointed out I have this weird spot that hasn't gone away. Probably could do some microdermabrasion. I'm gonna try to use all of the new products that I've gotten recently so that this is kind of a trial and error and see what works for me. So I'm gonna go grab something, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm gonna do this as kind of part of my unboxing. So this is my Ill Maquillage. I don't even know if that's how you say it. This Flawless Base Foundation. Now if you're on Instagram, which most of us are, if you're not, you probably live under a rock or you're like over 60. So this has been advertised everywhere. It pops up constantly. Now it says that you can try it free for like 14 days. I tried it once or twice, so I'm gonna put this on so that you guys can see it on camera. The packaging is really pretty. I go in and use my It Heavenly Skin brush. This is my go-to. Other than my beauty blender and this brush, I don't use anything else. I've tried, they don't work. The color that I'm using is 060, and this is the Woke Up Like This El Maquillage Foundation. Now the thing for me, Obviously, my number one issue is that I'm super dry. So I have to have something that has some sort of an oil in it. I did let them know that currently I am using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. So this is the foundation that they matched me with. I have, again, I've used it a couple times. Um, I think it's really pretty, but I don't think I've used it enough to really know if I love it, but they did charge me the 45 bucks for it. So I'm kind of stuck. So the only thing that I did notice last time was that it does settle a little bit into my fine lines. Like I said, now that I'm getting a little bit older, um, it's it's become an issue for me. Um, and you know, it's I mean, I'm just like everybody else. I don't have any deep wrinkles, but I'm starting to kind of get those fine lines around my eyes and especially around here because I do smile a lot. I don't really smile in a lot of my videos. I need to smile more. So that you guys get to see my true personality. But um, I'll just try this one out and see how it works. I don't really have any new concealers to test, so I'm just gonna use my trusty Laura Geller Spackle Concealer. Just a little bit on there. Cover up my imperfections. So the foundation and the concealer is on. I feel like this looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Now these brushes are really pretty. They're by Farah. Okay, so one is the stippling or stifling. I have like a super pretty, I don't know if you guys can tell, like a really pretty blue color to them. So this is my going to be my new stifling brush. This one is a straight brush, which is probably going to be for some bronzer. So actually look like a concealer brush. These are synthetic bristles. These are not real animal hair. And this one is called Cheeky End. So I've got a new cheek blush brush. Woo. I'm gonna use my Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. Okay. This one is in the color Pink Haze. You can see it's got this like gorgeous pink tinge to it. I did get this really gorgeous blush in my Ipsy bag. It's called Ollie Need Is Love. It's called Ofra, O-F-R-A Madison Miller Cosmetics. This is really gorgeous for this time of year. It's um, It's got just a tiny bit of shimmer to it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit peachier than I normally would wear, but I figured since it's this time of year, um, it's actually really gorgeous on, so. brush. I like the way it feels. It's really soft. I'm like a huge fan of blush. Probably because like I grew up in the 90s, the 80s and the 90s. And we just like wore a ton of blush. So this one is a really nice blush for fall. Really warm. Okay. 
Moving on to our bronzer palette. I am going to be using this Farah straight brush. This is the 20FF. 20FF. Since it's fall, I'm going to be using, do this one right in the middle. I'm not going to do the dark and I'm not going to do the too light. So we're just going to use this straight brush. We're just going to kind of go in. So that's giving me a really nice application there with that bronzer. Okay. Blend it right up into your hairline. This one, and I'm just gonna kind of blend it in. There we go. I might have put a little bit too much on there. Sorry, guys. This side looks better. Okay, so be careful with that straight applicator. It does put on a lot of product, which is nice. And I always like to kind of put a little bit underneath. So just kind of emphasize that jawline. And go in a little bit under the eye. really like this brush. I really like this stippling or stifling brush. It blends really, really well. I am. Want the dog symbol? I don't care. They don't bother me. Alright, so that's that. I think that it looks pretty good. Oh, it looks good. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to use is the Jolie Cosmetics Highlighter. Bing. Okay, I'm just going to go in right here. Oh, damn. Look at that glow. Yes. Wow. That's good. Take my finger. Wow, guys. This looks like the sun hit me in the right spot today. I really like that glow. Bam. Glow. Bam. Glow. Yes. So I'm going to incorporate this one with my brand new Betty Boop. I am going to make sure to put my eyeshadow primer on. I use the Urban Decay, the long lasting shadow base. So we're just gonna do some of these. Okay, I'm just gonna... First, to lay the base, I'm gonna go in with this um, color Blissful because I'm doing this kind of fall feel and we're doing a lot of warm colors, okay? So we're going in with this one. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're holding this at the very end, okay? You don't wanna hold your brushes like this. You're not, you're not coloring, okay? Coloring is a very different shadow. When you do shadow, you wanna make it light and you wanna make it airy, okay? So, you're just gonna put a little bit of the product on there. I know a lot of people these days like tap it, but I'm old school, I blow on it. Okay, so we're just gonna go in and you wanna go above your crease 
always make sure you go above your crease. Okay, we're just gonna kind of sweep that on. And you can tell I'm not holding on to this too heavy and I'm not applying a lot of pressure, okay? So you wanna make sure that you get a little bit of product on there, a little bit of color, because this is gonna be the color that's blending everything together. Okay. All right. So as you can tell, I'm not touching my eyelid at all at this point. I'm only putting this above my lid because honestly, this is where people's eyes are first gonna focus, okay? So you wanna make sure that you get it above the crease. You can avoid the lid altogether at this point right now. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to um, a lighter shade onto my lid. So we're gonna pack a little bit more color, do this nude, and this is gonna be kind of swept over your lid. And a lighter color is better, especially if you wanna cut the crease and put something kind of shimmery in there. We're gonna go in with this Lies, lies, you tell me lies. Okay, we're going in with this one. We're gonna go underneath here. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. We're just going to highlight those beautiful brows. And I always kind of drag this light color down into the corner of my eyes because my eyes are very, very deep set. So I always try to add light where there is darkness. Okay. And that's a motto for life too. I'm moving on to the Betty Boop shadow. That really pretty orange, rusty, that rust shimmer there. I'm just gonna apply a little bit, a little bit of that to my lid. See how this puppy does. try a little bit more okay there we go so I like to just put a tiny tiny bit of shimmer this one definitely isn't performing as well as I'd like it to I was super excited about it um Maybe I'm gonna use my finger. Sometimes that works better. I'll be afraid to pull the finger in. <laughs> Alright, well it's working out a little bit better. Okay. Just gonna put a little bit more of that on. Um, I would say it's just okay. Um, it's not fantastic, it's not horrible, but um, it's just kind of okay. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of this kind of shimmer, pink shimmer, into the I'm gonna go back to my trusty beauty creations and I'm gonna pack a little bit more of this Dare Me color in there, okay? And again, you can still kind of see, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this blissful right in here for that transition color. Now that the eyeshadow is done, move on to my eyeliner. because I am putting lashes on. I 
Have you ever noticed that one of your eyes is always perfect with your eyeliner and the other one just seems to never be perfect? Okay, well, keep in mind, one side of your face is completely different than the other one. I have found this out and it's really odd because one of my eyes is a little bit higher than the other one. So my eyeliner always tends to look perfect on this side and then this side's like the ugly twin sister. So if your eyeliner is not perfect, if the wing doesn't match, don't worry you guys, life is too short. Okay, so just do the best you can, try to make it look good, at least try to make it look a little even, and then just move on. Cause honestly, your lashes are probably gonna cover it up anyway. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is move on to my True Volume Pumped Up Effect. These are the Tapered and Technology. These are the Kiss lashes I just got. The difference between other lashes with this blunt end, as opposed to this one that has a tapered effect, which gives you the look of a natural lash as opposed to things just kind of stopping. It's kind of like when you accidentally cut your lashes. <laughs> How many of you guys have done that? I know I have. Um, when you accidentally cut your lashes and they're super blunt and they just look very unnatural. So the cool thing about these that I'm excited to take a look at is this tapered end. So um, keeping with that new feel for fall, we're gonna try these out. Okay. Let's check these bad boys out. And you always want to make sure to apply it just very thinly to the edge of the lash. All right. Now the biggest secret about these lashes is to make sure that the glue is tacky before you put them on, okay? Tacky, tacky. This is the one time in your life that you want to be tacky. You don't want to be tacky any other time. It's not cute. Side. Pop out any bubbles. Pew, pew, pew. I didn't get any mascara, so I'm going in with my Sephora Lash Craft Length and Volume. And I'm going to set those lashes. Now these lashes are bomb. I'm really digging them. So I'm gonna give these KISS lashes the 100% natural hair, uh, tapered and technology. I'm giving these a thumbs up, guys. These are really good lashes. I like them a lot. They're very light. Eyebrows. Okay, so my eyebrows are tattooed on. Ooh, you okay, boo-boo? But I always like to fill them in anyway, just to make them look a tiny bit more natural. I do have a couple little things that I wanna to touch up when I go see my girl. I'm just gonna kind of go in with my L on liner and brow. This the product is amazing. It's very universal. You can use it for your brows and a liner. I've done both. I'm just kind of filling this in. Because I don't have any eyebrow surgery. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of go in and try to match the other one. If you guys are looking for a really good eyebrow artist in the Los Angeles area, I'll link that in the description. So last but not least, we are gonna be doing lips. I didn't get a lipstick in this box, but that's all right. I have plenty to choose from. I'm just gonna try to find something that is very autumn-y and hopefully goes really well. Rusty kind of orange eyeshadow. 
deal I got going on. Okay, okay. I'm going in with this gorgeous NARS lip pencil and it's called Cruella. Oh, how fitting because it's Halloween. So the reason that I absolutely love these pencils is because I use it as a liner as well as filling in the lip. So this saves you a lot of money. You're not having to buy a lipstick as well as a lip liner. So thank you, NARS. I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker of a NARS. This has a little bit more of a brownish tone to it. This is the Shanghai Express. This is one of my faves. So definitely some of my faves are the Jolie Cosmetics. I mean, this shimmer and shine is like, it's amazing. I really, really enjoyed that. The brushes, I feel like all three of them were really good. This one really stood out to me, this, um, this stipling one, because I feel like it blend, like it blended that bronzer really, really well. I really, this one is a really good brush. I'm super excited about that. I'm a little on the fence about the eyeshadow palette, but again, I just used one color. So, you know, this could be really gorgeous in another um, tutorial. So I'll make sure to hold on to this one so that you guys can see more from this palette. I really, really liked this Lovecraft Beauty bronzer palette because again, I think that it kind of gives you um, some range with the different seasons depending on if you're a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, but summer. The bronzer was actually really beautiful and it blended really well with this stipling brush. I'm excited to use these products more and integrate them into my daily makeup. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys had a good time unboxing my first Ipsy Glam box with me. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching.